Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday morning, just sorted my face out. I have 15 minutes to get my bag ready, change my clothes and have breakfast before I need to leave for my lecture. Um, I'll try and vlog as much as I can because obviously I'm rushed for time and I woke up much later than I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything this morning but it is the refreshers fair today. I didn't even know this was a thing until like last week um, but there's a refreshers fair which is I'm pretty sure the same as Freshers Fair, so we get loads of discounts, free stuff, and I'm gonna take you guys along with us. I don't know if I'll talk because there'll be loads of uni students around. I'll probably show you exactly what it's like when you walk in. So the building they usually do it in is the engine shed, and I'm pretty sure that's where they'll do it today because it's one of the biggest places. And that's a, that's where the student night club is um, on site. Sorry about my voice. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, we're going in there, and there's usually like loads of stands from loads of different companies in the area, and just giving out loads of free food and stuff like loads of vouchers and stuff so I'm going to take you guys along with us I'm going to my first lecture of this semester and only lecture of the day which is genetics and I'm not very excited for this module at all because it was my least favorite topic in A-level biology however I've looked at my first few lectures and they're the DNA stuff so it's really really simple but then it goes into like some crazy genetics not looking forward to it at all but i think today's will be fine because it'll be like a little introduction yeah i will catch up with you at one o'clock when we go to the refreshers fair i'm meeting megan and hattie i think they're meeting me outside my lecture theatre and then we're gonna go i'm so excited i'm only in for one lecture today so i didn't decide to get some water and um, there's not really many much point um so I've got my pad, I just use this pad and then I rip out the pages and put them in my folders up here. I do need to get four new folders or remove the stuff from my modules last semester. Um, then I have my pencil case, so just like plenty of pens, pencils, ruler, rubber. Then I have my scientific calculator. I've whacked my hairbrush in because obviously we're going to the refreshers fair afterwards. Um, I don't know if I need anything else. I've also popped my glasses on. My camera has been messing me up recently like the autofocus keeps going off and then the lens doesn't close properly and i'm really worried that the camera's broken but i haven't like damaged it at all and um, so fingers crossed it doesn't because if not then i'll have to send it off or i don't know i just don't want to not be able to vlog you know because i love it <laughs> and but yeah anyway i'm gonna go get some cereal and then i'm gonna go to my lecture So I've just come out of my genetics lecture and I've met Megan and we're just about to go into the engine shed waiting for Hattie and one of her friends to come and then we're going inside the freshest fair and I can see people going up with bags and that's all I want really, bags and there's free tea and coffee. All I want now. Free tea and coffee. <laughs> What did you get? Pastry? And you got a muffin too. What would you like? A fortune cookie or a tea bag? Fortune cookie. Yeah, yeah I think there is. There you go. Oh yeah. Thank you. What would you like? Tea bag, fortune cookie. Yeah. A little fortune cookie. I've come back from the refreshers fair, and it was actually right. It wasn't obviously as good as the freshers fair because they can't. I guess like the companies can't afford to give out like loads of free stuff but I'm going to show you what I have got in my bag I'm going to pop you up on my tripod I think because um it'll just be a little bit easier right so right oh that's annoying with the mirror let me move you I'm going to show you what I got in my bag I we basically any freshers fair I'm pretty sure in any uni they give out loads of freebies all the time like bags vouchers food pens lots of things so i'm going to just show you what was in ours there wasn't as many stands obviously as fresh as fair but it's obviously to like promote and and like give an outreach on some of the facilities the university has so there'll be like the student well-being center um the financial services and stuff that the uni do as well as companies that live around about like dominoes etc so thought i'd show you what was inside oh okay so i've got this bag but it has nothing inside it says on the front 43 percent reduction in carbon emissions by 2020 university of lincoln so it's some sort of 
what is it? Oh, Green Lincoln. So I'm guessing it's promoting a healthier environment, but there's no leaflets inside, so I can't really read up about it, which is quite sad. But these tote bags are so good, like for uni, if you can't afford to buy like a, a uni bag, or it's just like convenient, isn't it, to put like loads of your books and stuff in. Right, I think I've sorted everything out. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so I've got this these things from better which i'm pretty sure is a gym yeah it's a gym and we set set up an account so we have like a free day pass um to go to the gym which obviously is a good thing but ho yeah maybe we should get around to going to this we might as well because it's a free day pass um so yeah and they gave us a free pen as well so a free day at the gym so that's obviously good if you aren't sure if what the gym has as its facilities and to, like, give it a go so if you want to keep it up and whether it's worth the money so yeah that's that's good because i didn't even know this gym existed i'm not really sure where it is i think he said it was near morrison's which again isn't too far like a 15 minute walk max so we've got them then we've also got what's this oh the student well-being center this is something i wanted to talk about the student well-being center at lincoln is so good and i really wish i used it um a lot more i think i'm going to start using it to help with my anxiety i know a lot of people shy away from things like this but it's so important to acknowledge your anxiety and try and do something about it. I know it's very difficult, like, because I am anxious in itself to go and approach the wellbeing centre. Um, but going to this stand has actually helped me because I've seen things that I didn't even know existed. So like, al alongside this really cute fluffy pen, look how cute this is. The Student Wellbeing Centre, they also were giving out little magazines and this one had workshops so i picked this one up and it has workshops for so many different things so there's homesickness workshops and it says that they like go through thought patterns and ways to manage homesickness um pointing out the physical and emotional symptoms and stuff like that and they have several dates throughout the year where you can go to these workshops and get advice and help and um, there's also anxiety workshops which that's the thing that i'm going to book because ever since i've when I started uni, I thought I was going to be more anxious than I was at home, but it, I literally completely turned. I became so much more confident and independent in myself. However, after going back home for three months, three months, three weeks in the Christmas and being around people that I know don't like me, and um, not my family, obviously, but like being in public around people that don't like me and just in an area where I wasn't as comfortable, um, my anxiety started like coming back and now I've come back to university I feel a little bit anxious so I think I'm going to go to this workshop well one of these workshops there's several there's one on the 2nd of February which I'm thinking about going to and it says that it talks about anxiety what it actually is the maintenance cycle um how to manage short and long-term anxiety and just like common negative thoughts and specific support that the university offers so it goes through everything it gives you a better understanding of what you may have and what you're going through as well as giving like mechanisms and help strategies to make you feel better um then there's also other workshops like uh what's this dealing with challenging emotions um procrastination which again would be really good for quite a lot of uni students from what i've heard um exam stress workshops which again is something else that i'm considering maybe before my next exams because i did stress out a little well i didn't stress out a lot but I feel like I'm going to get more stressed out after I get my exam results from the ones that we just did. Getting organised, which I like doing anyway, so I don't, definitely won't be going there. Um, and presentation skills workshops. They do so many different things. And I didn't even realise they did this. So going to the Freshers' Fair and things like this can really give you a bit a bit better insight into your university and what they offer. Um, and you might even find something that's going to be helpful. So I'm definitely going to sign up to this. And here's like a little exam stress card. So I'm going to leave that on my pin board in case I ever feel stressed and I know I can go here. I'm quite open about talking about this, but I'm not like bragging or being like, I have anxiety and stuff like that. You know, you guys know that I'm not like that. Um, but I'm thinking about getting counselling again because I used to have it at my old school when I was feeling super low, like, like depressed level low. Um, and I feel like it's going to help me get back on track how I was in the last semester because I am feeling a bit low and down recently and I don't really know what's triggering it. I think it was from being around such an un uncomfortable environment in public around my hometown to here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to get regular ses sessions hopefully and then build up my confidence again. So yeah, that was something that I just wanted to shout out and let you guys know that there are facilities that will help you if you're struggling from homesickness, stress, anxiety, depression. You want someone that, to talk to you that doesn't know anything about you from your past and stuff there are people like that so just to let you guys know they do quizzes at tower bar which is the student union bar 
Um, we haven't been there for the quiz, so I think we're going to try this out on Thursdays. I'm so gutted because I'm going to London on Thursday this week and there's a Disney quiz. And I think my friends are going, which makes me so sad because <laughs> I want to go and I love Disney. We'd win. We would win. So yeah, hopefully there'll be another Disney one soon. And yeah, it's only one pound to enter. So it's really simple and it's like a really nice thing to do and socialise. And apparently there are cash jackpots and mystery prizes. So that sounds like perfect to me. Especially, oh, I'm so gutted I'm missing out on the Disney one. I wish they could text me, but I bet they can't because you're not allowed phones out at quizzes. That's gotten i also picked up some society's leaflets because as i said i'm going to get into musical theater and drama um in second year i'm not going to start now because you do have to pay for the full year membership and i don't want to pay 30 quid when i'm only going to be doing it for a couple of months so i'm going to 100 percent start there is oh there's a disney society i'm going to read out some random ones so there's an um architecture and design art and tattoo assassin society um biomed society so there's all of the course societies as well as like random ones like creative writing society feminism society first love society mario kart society photography politics sci-fi sing it tabletop ve vegan islamic hong kong harry potter there's just so many things that so i'm going to join the musical theater or the drama society i'm pretty sure maybe the musical theater one because it's a bit of everything yes yeah, so i'm going to have a look into that next year and there's loads of sporting ones as well so on the back there's like fencing golf gymnastics handball squash swimming tennis boxing basketball jitsu literally so many different sports societies as well if you're worried that lincoln doesn't have the society for you i'm pretty sure it does because there are tons and um, we also got some burger king vouchers they're so they're so good it's literally like two pound for like some meals so we've got loads from burger king and like a little leaflet on how to sign up for the app and stuff. There is another gym, Pure Gym, which is the one closest to us, opposite Megan's accommodation. And it's only £13 a month, which is so good. And there's a £0 joining fee. We were thinking about doing this, but I don't think we're in the financial position to do so right now. But yeah, Pure Gym looks good. And from Domino's, we didn't actually get a free Domino's, which was sad, because that's what you got at Freshers, but we missed out on it because we left it too late, because we're idiots. Um, but they did give us like their menu and some of their like current deals, which we, which obviously isn't as good as a free pizza, but um, this stand called Alpha, and it's a, I think it's, I don't know if it's to do with the uni or if it's just something, no, it's not. It's a, like, an interactive session where you go, and you go for, like, drinks or a meal with people, like, random people, and you discuss, discuss really, like, philosophical questions and deep topics, and that's literally what me and Megan and Hattie do every single evening. We, like, somehow get on the topics of, like, really deep questions and just chat for ages. So I feel like this might actually be something that, um, right up our street, and we, I think I filmed earlier, but I had to tally, um, there was a question, it was, like, is there more to life than this, like regarding university? And I put yes, if you saw me tally. And if we did that, we got either a fortune cookie or a tea bag. And I picked a fortune cookie because I miss Chinese foods. <laughs> now, I've got some stuff from the Swan, which is the student pub that's so close to us, literally like two minute walk. Um, and I picked up this little card. There's an Airbnb, so there's like a guest house thing in uh, above the pub, which is amazing. So I think my family might come and stay there one time. Um, yeah, I've got a little card. The stuff that are on every single week. So there's acoustic sessions on Tuesdays, um, karaoke on Wednesdays, cocktail night Fridays and the quiz on Sunday is where we go all the time. Oh yeah, I picked up this just to show you guys. Obviously we've sorted out our house for this year, but it's a it's a housing guide um, from the Students' Union. Oh yeah, we got a free hot drink from the Students' Union, which was so nice. Is it? Yeah, so it, it kind of like helps you out even if you have got a place. There's tips on moving out, like moving out, money matters, myths and facts, what to look for in a viewing, so many helpful things. So I am going to be, I think, in August or July I'm gonna do like a whole university month on my main channel where I'm gonna whack out as many university videos as possible so stuff to do with housing budgeting things like that I might do some more closely to the time but if you have any like specific topics that you want me to go into like proper detail with to do with university then let me know because I'm gonna go into do like a big video on each so many people are walking past my window and like looking in like what is she doing because <laughs> I've got my camera like on a big tripod and then the last thing I got was a free pen. Oh, it's stuff to do with the police, which again is helpful, and campaigns network. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, that's why I got my um, bags. Just thought I'd share with you like what things you can kind of get on this these sort of fairs that the university offer. Um, obviously there's so much more on the the freshers fair, but I obviously didn't vlog as much in there um, right at the start of the year because I was a bit nervous vlogging like in a new environment, but. 
I will 100% be vlogging Fresh as Fair in September this year more confidently and showing you exactly what you can get up to because you get so much free food like Morrison's come and give out free lemon muffins that's what they did this year um people like throw giving out like free pasta um, and just load of rice and like loads of things that really come in handy when you're struggling so yeah you should definitely go to the fairs if you ever get the chance I'll probably talk a little bit more about this in one of my August videos but yeah just thought I'd share with you and now I'm going to be getting on with taking some blog photos because that's what I've been meaning to do for the past couple of days but I have been procrastinating Right, the, this is, it's not glamorous is it? I'll just squish everything close, like I've got my bloody s studio light on my bed. And it's probably going to fall off very soon. Right, let's bring some more light in the situation. So glad my studio light is a bit flexible. <laughs> Right, so I've just been replying to loads of your guys comments on my recent videos because two went up tonight uh, I'm very happy with the feedback so far. I've also been getting the nicest messages from you I'm so happy to everyone who contacts me People have been adding me on snapchat and talking to me over there and on Instagram and honestly it makes me smile so much Like I always reply to them in the evenings and I just feel so lucky and grateful that people really like I don't know like people don't properly know me they just watch me and really enjoy watching my videos I just get so happy that people like watching me and do every day like it's just insane um so yeah thank you very much if you do message me or even just watch my videos I'm always like approachable like don't feel like nervous to email me Instagram DM me or snapchat me whatever you want to do because I will always reply like I always reply to everyone yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that I appreciate you all very, very much. And I'm glad you're all liking my uni content because I know a lot of you are getting very excited because you're coming to university next year. What else? Yeah, I think I'm going to sit and have a chill and read because I've been so productive today that it's made me so exhausted. I've just typed up all my notes from today's lecture so that I'm on top of everything. I know I've only had one lecture today, but I just want to make sure I'm constantly on top of everything so I'm not as stressed out as I was last semester. I had a, my genetics lecture today and that was actually all right it wasn't too bad um it was an introduction though and we just started doing dna and like i said earlier i'm pretty sure it's not too bad tomorrow i have the busiest day ever i don't think i'm going to vlog tomorrow because there will be no content i am in lectures 9 till 10 11 till 12 and then 2 till 6 ugh i'm going to be so tired but yeah i just thought i'd let you know that i won't be vlogging tomorrow because i'm going to be so busy but I probably will, uh, but I'll let you know in Wednesday's vlog how everything went on Tuesday because I'll, I'll be introduced to all my new modules. I'm very excited to see what each of the course entails. I have been reading up on a few of the module handbooks to see what's in store. But I'm excited to meet some new lecturers and that. The lecture I had today for genetics was so funny. I'm going to sit and chill and read my book and have a bit of a relax for like an hour or so before I have dinner. Me and Hat have just booked a colour run to do at the end of April. I'm so excited. I've, I'm doing so many things in April. I feel so lucky. I am going to... Well, it's like part of my trip to Italy is um, goes into April. So at the beginning of April, I'll be in Rome. Then I'm going to be skydiving and doing my colour run at the end of April. That's three things off my bucket list in the space of a month, which is insane. So... I'm feeling so happy. The colour runs at the uni and it's like a student's colour run around the campus and I'm really excited for it. I've always wanted to do a colour run so bad. I really want to do like a mud one as well um, where it's like really tough and challenging and like you have to do loads of obstacles as well. So I'm going to see if I can do that maybe in summer as well or if not I'll wait because I am doing quite a lot of things off my bucket li list this year and I need to save money but I also want to do experiences. It's just so stressful because I just really love I just love experiencing new things and going to different places, but then I'm also like, do I save money? But then I'm like, you only live once. Dun, dun, dun. Such, such a stressful life. <laughs> so me and Hatman have found the funniest app, have we? <laughs> right, it's, Hatman it's found it. How did you find it? <laughs> it was a student wellbeing page and how to get to sleep. <laughs> no, no, how to beat insomnia, that was it. <laughs> I just went on there so you know. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, because we don't really wake up very early, like as early as we like to. Or go to bed very early. Yeah. So we've decided to get this app called Alarmy. I'll show you what it looks like Boring. just in case people are in interested. 
Okay, so my autofocus has stopped again. But yeah, it's called Alami. It's like white with a colorful clock, like sort of like the it's Instagram. The one that you could buy, it's yeah. And you basically make your alarm, but can you explain? Because I'm not very good at explaining. Okay, so you basically set an alarm for the morning and you can choose a setting. So one setting is like take a picture, solve a maths equation, you have to shake the phone a certain amount of times, or like scan a barcode, I'm not really sure how that one works. So, so we did the take a picture one. So before you, when you set it, you take a picture of something like your bathroom sink, and then when your alarm goes off in the morning, you have to take the same picture of the bathroom sink to turn the alarm off. So you have to physically get out of bed, take a picture, you have to align it perfectly with the previous picture you've taken to like turn it off, otherwise it keep playing the sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play the sound because it is the worst it's sound, sound you'll ever hear. Right. Get this loud alarm one. See that the choices like the one. Like just like a picnic. Over. See that would be like there were some horrible ones. That would just be irritating yeah. more than annoying. Like, Imagine that I launch my phone across my room and smash it. Hit my phone. I did an alarm one and there's like a siren. No, wait, wait. No. That's a really scary. That one is so scary. It sounds like the purge is coming or something. Have you seen that thing? No, I'll tell you what it sounds like. It sounds like the fire alarm. <laughs> like, I would start crying. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'm stuck getting all my stuff together. And then I'll be like, wait, it's only coming from my room. Oh. Well, we also figured out that if that happened in a lecture, you we could go home, yeah. <laughs> take a picture of your thing and then come back. Because you wouldn't be able to stop it unless you, yeah. I don't know, would maybe you, you could turn it off. Like maybe you could turn your phone off, but like, that's crazy. That is going to help me so much. In the morning, I have to get up for 9 a.m. So I'm going to use that. Mm. Excited. Right, so I'm just about to go to bed. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's vlog. Subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Um, I'm vlogging Wednesday, so I'll see you in two days for a brand new vlog. Night. Mm.